I'm like a casual shopper. I'm not trying to be aggressive in here, okay? And I feel like as a full-time reseller, you gotta be realistic, like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a Google bins haul. Now y'all know I used to make a lot of these videos. I haven't been finding anything great, um, but I do think this one is noteworthy. I think I've already sold like three pieces and I literally just listed these within the past two days. Actually, yesterday was when I started to list and I photographed the rest today. So technically one day um, I've already sold three of the items so let's just jump right in um a new to me brand and it might be worth something I'm not sure um I'll pop it on the screen because it looks so pretty and I was like I gotta pick it up um this is a brand called sea spice it's resort wear it's 100% Peruvian cotton so that might be worth something uh but this is a size large and I'm hoping that it is uh worth a decent amount. I have not listed uh, these items at the top yet, but I did photograph them this morning. Y'all probably saw it or y'all might see it in the vlog, I don't know. All right, so this is actually just like a cute little romper situation. I don't typically pick up this brand anymore just because it's boutique and you know, it doesn't sell that well. It's called Intro and uh, this is actually a size medium and it's just like a rib knit uh, tie waist romper and I thought that this would be perfect for the summer because it's very stretchy and very casual. This is a Y2K vintage lucky brand women's like halter neck. It does say that it's a swim top but honestly it feels like it could actually just be a regular like you know halter top so I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna market this I might still put swim in it but I would hope that somebody can just buy it and wear it as a top and that was actually a size small this is a brand called Meadow Rue. This is actually sold at Anthropology, and it's just this really pretty floral knit um, like cardigan. It does have like this really cute lace detail to uh, it, but this one is a size small, I believe. I initially picked that up to sell to a buy sell trade store, but I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna try to sell it myself. Um, this is Fabletics kind of like this ruche tank top situation um i also picked this up to sell to a buy sell trade store but i couldn't find the um like the size tag so i went on and listed myself so i'm sure it's probably only going to sell for like i don't know 15 bucks uh this is hannah anderson a kids wear brand that i enjoy picking up because it does sell um but this is a really cute like ruffle maxi colorful tiered dress i shouldn't say maxi i think this is more of a midi depending on how tall the child is this is baby bowden uh this is 18 to 24 months i really like picking up baby bowden or mini bowden or bowden in general i feel like it does sell decently you just got to get a good piece but this is just like a cute little jumpsuit i thought it was so cute it's giving very much those spring vibes with all the floral detail to it so we love that this is prana i picked this up because it was an extra large and i thought that it would be a great piece for people that um you know go hiking early in the morning or go running early in the morning it's very stretchy and breathable it does have like a cow neck situation and then two pockets in the front and it's very like lightweight it's it's giving y'all know how it is like early in the morning it's really like you know a little little cold a little breezy like 60 degrees and then in like you know it's 80 degrees in the afternoon so that's like a good little piece to have uh, this is Pagucci. Uh, Patagonia has definitely declined, uh, but this is a cute little uh, southwestern piece. Now, unfortunately, this is a kid's piece, but it is a size large. This is a REI co-op men's t-shirt. I think this is like my third time finding a t-shirt, but this is more of like a dry fit situation. So I'm hoping to get a, at the very least about $20 for that one. This one was a little upsetting. Uh, so this one is called Copper Fit. Now, the problem with this is that I remember picking up a piece called Tommy Copper, and that one did amazing. It sold like within a day. Um, and when I was at the bins, I thought this was that. And then I got home and I'm like, oh, this isn't that. Uh, but this one's just a long sleeve. I haven't listed it yet, so I don't really know what that one's gonna uh, come for. So we'll see. This is a style pickup. I don't think I've ever picked up this brand to sell, but the brand is called JM Collection. Now, the reason why I picked this one up is due to the fact that it's like 
linen linen is just like such a hot commodity but it's linen it does have this uh button down kind of like a v-neck i thought that it was a popover style just because it does have like the embroidery uh right at the neckline and then it kind of stops right at the center um but it does have like this watercolor print to it so i got that um and that one was a 14 so what is that large or extra large i think that's an extra large yeah, anyways, uh, so hopefully that one performs. Uh, this one is Hot A Hippie, or Hot Hippie, I don't know. Um, and it's 100% silk, and it's just this really pretty tunic popover top. And it does have like this roll tab sleeve, and it's in this really pretty brown colorway. So you already know how I feel about with those brown colors. I just cannot let them go. This is um, a new to me brand, but it is a collaboration with H&M. So that kind of sucks, but I do think it's still going to perform because it is 100% silk. Uh, the brand is called Sonia Raikia. I don't know. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, but it is a collab with H&M, like I said, and it's just like this uh, very lightweight duster kimono cardigan situation. It is an open front. Um, it does not have the tie, so I'm really upset about that, but I still think I can get a decent amount because I did um, look at the brand and it sells for a decent amount. So uh, we'll see how it's going to perform with it being a collab. This is a brand called Asics. I did not check the comps on this, but I just couldn't leave this behind. This one's kind of like uh, a run-in jacket, if you will. Um, very lightweight, and it's like a dry fit material, and it does have like zipper pockets in the front, um, and then the logo at the chest. And this is actually a women's medium. I bet y'all like, where's the heat that you spoke of? But it should be coming soon. The band on this one is called 21 Pilots and um, it's just a band tee. I believe it's from their Icy Tour. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even know who the hell 21 Pilot is, but um, I thought the tie-dye looked good and it said Icy Tour on it. And I'm like, okay, there's gotta be some official merch and it is, so we love that. I think that's an extra large in uh, men. This is Lucky Brand. This is a classic fit, the Saturday stretch size medium. It is a pearl snap and pearl snaps are like really popular amongst men. So I try to pick those up when I see them, especially if the item is in good condition. I don't think I've ever picked up this specific style. So I'll see how that one's gonna perform. And then um, this is BKE Vintage. This is the standard fit, size extra large. And this is also a pearl snap button down. It is like a flannel piece. Um, I'm hoping that this one's gonna do okay. I think I looked at that. I think, I think I did check comps and they were uh, decent and that's the only reason why I got it. So this is Ann Taylor, it is new with tags, so we love that. This is a size eight and it's just like a career dress um i thought about selling this to a buy some trade store but i thought that this burgundy colorway is more of a fall color and i didn't think they would take it so i thought i'd go ahead and list it um so yeah we'll see how much we can get for that one this was uh an exciting find it is eileen fisher it is a extra large this is 100 percent organic cotton and it's just this like open front well i guess it's not open front um it does have buttons but it has like a waterfall situation to it or you can button it up and then, you know, it won't. But it's red and the fact that it is organic cotton. Is it organic cotton or linen? I'm not sure, it's one of those, I don't know. Um, but it's an extra large, so we love that. This is a pair of Pixie Pants by Old Navy. These are a size 12. I actually recently sold um, a black pair of these. So I went on and picked these up. Um, there was a time where I completely stopped picking up the pixie pants. I'm starting to feel like they're more of a summer style than they are like a winter style. So that's probably why people wasn't getting them because I've been noticing that they typically sell like around spring, summer versus fall and winter. So I try to make sure I list it accordingly and I pick up desirable styles. This is Bowden and this is a size 10, which is a medium. I thought this was cute because it was giving very much so like a nautical vibe and it has like this bishop sleeve so I thought that was kind of cute um so I went on and picked it up it's just certain brands that I'm gonna always pick up at the bins even if it is um you know not the best style just because I know it can still sell you know 
and I feel like as a full-time reseller you got to be realistic like wherever you go to source your items you have to be realistic in the fact that you have to make money the goal is to make money so yeah I'm not picking up things that I can sell for 50 plus dollars at the bins all the time or hell even thrift stores all the time so I make do with my $20 sales and I'm happy with that but this is a brand called Azazi. Um, I believe it's like a bridesmaid uh, brand, but this is a size four. It does have an A4 on it, which lets me know that it was altered, um, but I did provide measurements. And I'll have to pop this dress up on the screen, but it's like a maxi uh, gown and it looks really nice. So I'm hoping that somebody gets that soon if they're a bridesmaid or something in that nature. All right, so this was a pretty exciting find. The brand is a Goldie, and these are a pair of shorts. These are the Parker shorts. They're size 25, um, and I was really happy to find these because, okay, so as a lead, my thing is at the bins. I will like casually just shop and I'll stop at any bin that my heart, you know, takes me to. And um, they had just rolled out some new bins, but I wasn't ready to go over there yet because I feel like when I go to the new bins when they first come out, at first I used to be so scared, but now I'm not scared. I just don't like the the anxiety of it all because what ends up happening when you go to a new bin you have to be aggressive just like they are and i don't want to be aggressive i'm like a casual shopper i'm not trying to be aggressive in here okay uh so when i go to the bin and I, i'm a person that i like to look up i like to check the crotch like i like to kind of look it over before i put it in my bag because i've gotten to a place now where i don't want to have to uh go off to the side at the end of my sourcing trip and then go through everything and spend an hour no thanks I will look over my item and then put it in my bag so that I can leave when it's time for me to leave uh, so I can't do that when it's a new band because everybody and their mama be you know rustling over the bands and people just don't care and I don't like that so I wait for everything to die down just a little bit and then I'll go over and that's what I did I went over and I found these in another item um, I think it I'll show y'all but I found both of those in the same bin and it kind of got me excited to like keep digging in that bin but I had only found those two items. This one also was a, an exciting find. Uh, the brand is called Miss 60 and uh, this one is the collection. I don't know if that makes it anything better but um, it does have like this charm on the thigh and it's kind of like this micro mini skirt, and um, it you know it has like the the shorts underneath but it looks so teeny tiny and this is actually a size 30 this one is a modal blend and i actually couldn't find any comps and i spent some time on ebay searching through all of the pages of uh skirts for miss 60 and the prices were high as hell and since i couldn't find one quite like mine and mine was a size 30 which is a 10 which is a medium i'm like you know what i'm gonna price it high so if you were interested don't get offended by the price okay um yeah i priced it up okay just because that is the price point that the girls are paying for that so why not get as much as i can from it um this is a new to me brand it's called outlier i picked these up they felt like really good quality and i'm like okay these might be lululemon they might be public rec they might be wrong rowback they might be one of these great menswear brands um i actually never heard of this brand before um and this is what the tag looks like these basic ass shorts is like 120 dollars and um in the resale market they're going for over 40 dollars which is wild to me so i priced mine really high now the only issue is that mine is a size 28 okay and um that's really tiny in the men's community now if they were 32 i'd probably get a good amount for it but they're size 28 so i don't mind sitting on them these are some pearl izumi bike shorts um, these are a pair of women ones. Let me just say that uh, cycling is really in right now, cycling and golf. Uh, so if you have cycling pieces or golf pieces or you are in the search, look for those two specifically because a lot of people are buying stuff uh, in those categories uh, because this is the season. Uh, this is a pair of Zara trouser shorts. They do have like this ruffle detail to them. Uh, these are a size medium and they have like this gingham plaid situation and they look really pretty so I picked them up like I told y'all before I completely like slow down on picking up Zara pieces but I think that one is going to do well 
This is the item that was found with the Goldie jeans. Uh, it's called Joa Brown. These are their lifting leggings and I was able to find a lady uh, wearing them. They have like this scallop hem. My first time finding this brand and it's actually really, really not, I don't wanna say expensive, but like the resale on it is really high. So I did price mine high as well. A sand, I wouldn't commit it to memory. Um, I only picked these up because it had this cool little zipper pocket to the thigh and they were like a roll up uh, pair of pants. They're nylon, they're hiking, they're very stretchy. Um, and I thought the girls would love this, uh, you know, during the season, cause I feel like hiking is also um, about to be a thing or it is already a thing right now. Um, I haven't been selling that much hiking stuff though. This is a brand uh, that I didn't really care too much about. It was more of the style, but the brand is called Notations. Size large, it is vintage, but I picked it up because it was just this really pretty boho patchwork, you know, ditzy floral, you know, tiered skirt. I keep saying, you know, cause I'm trying to think of other uh, words to say, uh, but yeah, I picked this one up. Um, I've been having a little bit of luck selling the skirts. I probably need to get better with my pricing because they do sit a while, but they do get a lot of attention. Uh, this is cloth and stone. Um, I don't know if it's still sold at Anthropology, but I still pick it up. Size large. These are just like some tinsel YSL lightweight capri pants. I have a lot of luck selling their pants um, more than I do like their tops or dresses. So I enjoy picking them up. This one is a piece that actually sold within, I'm not even kidding y'all, within like two minutes. Um, this is Eileen Fisher, it is a size large. This was actually um, organic cotton and um, they were a pair of pull-on pants. When I first picked them up, I don't even think I looked at them all the way. And then I got home to list and it's a damn bleach stain right at the hem. So I ended up, um, just listing it anyways i ain't gonna lie the first when i first saw it i'm like oh i gotta dash this out but i say you know what it's eileen fisher it's at the hem all right so this is old navy this is their kicker boot cut extra high rise these are size 10. they do have a button fly and um, they do have a frayed hem now i actually looked at these first and i'm like wow these are in uh, pretty good condition and they are really pretty and stylish so i did check comps and the comps were okay i don't know if it was like 60 or 70 percent but it was it was a good sell through rate so i was like let me go ahead and grab it um no side note as well i'm not really a 100 percent sell through rate girly i am content with selling things as low as 30 percent um that's kind of like where my bare bottom is but there's a few factors that goes into getting a 30 percent sell through rate item but anyways uh this is an airy sweater this one is just an oversized fit and I forget what this type of um, fabric is called but it's like a like a matted fleece if you will this one did have some wording on it it says a little nice on it on the neckline which I thought was interesting but that's a size medium this is another piece that sold this is Chico size one now I went back and forth with myself on picking this one up, um, but the linen is what sold me. <laughs> so I said, you know what, let's just go ahead and get it. The linen and then the fact that it was a pop over top and then the fact that it had this really pretty print to it. I was just like, you know what, I think with those factors alone, I could sell it. Um, and this one actually sold fairly quickly. So sold in a day. It got a lot of attention on eBay early on. So I don't know if people have like safe searches or what, but I was pretty shocked. This is also a great um, biking brand, La Passion. I don't know if I even pronounced that correctly, um, but this is one of their uh, jerseys. I think that's what they call it. It's very stretchy and it's like an open knit situation. So it's incredibly breathable and uh, it has those pockets in the back. This is a size extra large. For some reason, I don't like that they don't put like men or women on it. So I had to go and um, like do research. I always do research on my items. Um, like I told y'all, I try to take at least a minute at the very least, just so I can make sure I am pricing it correctly and I'm getting as much as I could from it. Um, and just kind of like knowing the market when I do uh, do that. But, um, I looked into the sizing that some people provided for theirs and I'm like, okay, that's a man. So definitely a, a Bolo brand. This one also actually just sold. Uh, this is a Nike jacket. This is an extra large. This thing had five likes on Mercari. 
Now, the thing is, is that I picked this up and I went back and forth because you already know how I feel about Nike. Nike is just, it's just something about it. it you got to get real specific pieces. Um, so this one was a good one. It was an extra large. It was a, a full zip and it was in excellent condition. So I thought. So I noticed that um, the zipper was messed up when I got home. So I'm like, oh man. So then I was able to fix it or so I thought. And I fixed it. And next thing I know, I'm like, okay, well, I want to take a picture of it open. And I'm looking at the thing and I'm like, oh no, this isn't going to open. So I priced it lower than I would have liked at $20 because um, I was hoping to get about $15 for it. So I priced it at $20 and um, I noted that the zipper was broken. So you'd have to wear it as like a pullover. This was a really exciting find. So this is kind of like a tank, but it feels so nice. And it does have like the boning on it. And I initially saw this little piece at the bins. I said little piece, but the logo. And I took a picture and I posted it on my Instagram. I'm like, y'all know this brand because I kind of like was looking at it like through the thing. And I'm like, I can't see a tag. I get home and it's time for me to photograph it. And I see that it's on there and it's just kind of like on the fabric. So this is a size medium. These cost $125 brand new. Um, I saw somebody selling theirs the exact same size for $75, um, but theirs was new with tax. So I did price mine high. I'm trying to get like $45 for that one. Um, and that's my first time finding Honey Love. So we love that. This is um, G. This is uh, a medium large. Ironically enough, I just sold one um, yesterday from this brand, but it's like an open front kimono. Uh, these sell pretty well. I think it's like my third time selling a um, G kimono, so we love that. This is a men's Lululemon tie dye t shirt. Um, I actually felt the quality on this and I'm like, okay, this is in excellent condition. Whoever previously owned this did not wear it a lot. And I was just like, you know what? Let me look at the hem. Side note. So when I was reaching for this one, big, tall, gigantic lady comes over and she just starts digging. And this is why I don't go to like new, new bands because people like her, they invade your personal space. And it is so frustrating. So what I did was, because me just being who I am, um, since she was so damn close, I started to do this. You get what I'm doing? Yeah. I started to lift up and open my arms because like, what the hell are you doing? Um, so anyway, so I did that and she got the hint and she left because like, why are you doing this? Like, why? I hate, I hate that so much. They just get so close and it's, it's, Oh, we, let me just stop. This was super exciting. So the reason why you need to pick up pieces and if you see them, you know, looking kind of interesting, take the little bit of time of getting on your phone and opening up Google Lens and then photographing the item and seeing what it is because this one didn't have any tags on it, but it was in a really nice quality. The knitting looked great and um, it was proving a connection. So I thought this was an amazing piece to pick up. I saw a lot of people listing theirs really high. So I kind of, um, I priced it up a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to at the very least get about $50 for that one. This is a lens and size medium. Um, and it's just this really pretty floral, colorful uh, print mini dress. I think it's like an A-line dress or a shift dress. I'm not really sure. That one's a pretty good uh, filler. Probably get about 20 bucks for that. This is Free People. It's a linen, like overall romper situation. I was so mad I could not find a stock photo. So I thought this was so pretty. Look at the colorway. It's like a cream and tan colorway. And it's like shorts with cute little pockets. This one's an extra small. Nobody could ever make me hate Free People. I mean, the reseller community has definitely given up on it, but y'all give up on it, I'ma still pick it up because it be selling, okay? Uh, this is Lulu's. This is just a pair of embroidered shorts. They are so cute. I initially thought it was a skirt, but it's actually a pair of shorts. So I thought it was adorable. Size small. I'm probably only going to get like $15 for it, but I'm okay with that. This is a new to me brand. It's called Adore. The only reason why I picked it up is because it was new at tags. And uh, this retails for $97.99. This is, I'm sorry, y'all, the 
camera just turned off uh, but anyway so like I was trying to say this is um, a new tags item it is called the dip dive vest multicolor $97.99 brand new but it had like this really pretty knit detail to it and then like a animal print snake skin I don't know cheetah leopard whatever you want to call it and it's like a waterfall it's you know open front and it does have really pretty like um, sequins to it I probably need to go and add some more to my title because I don't think I put like sequins in there but anyways um i priced that one pretty high because i did see a lot of them that sold for a high price point that were new with tags like over 50 dollars. so i'm trying to get at the very least about 40 to 50 for mine this is a size uh medium cloth and stone chambray top um like i was telling y'all before i do better with the pants but when it's like chambray pieces which i think they sell a lot of chambray pieces um i thought this one was really nice it's in excellent condition there are no flaws to it i feel like i um have completely shifted the way that i source in a sense of i don't pick up damaged items intentionally um i I'm, I'm done i am completely done um it's just not for me anymore before it's like oh i just knock a couple dollars off mm -mm, i don't even want to deal with it uh, anyway, so this is Hannah Anderson. This is a US 6 to 7. And I'm actually not going to be listing this until, um, you know, we get closer to uh, winter time. But it is a like onesie, if you will. But look at the Santa or the elves, I don't know, on the kneecap. So sticking cute. And this actually feels like it's in uh, new without tags condition. Y'all know the feeling, like that buttery soft. Um, so this one's not getting listed until later. I actually think that's it. Yeah. This is all being sold to a buy sell trade store so y'all probably see that in upcoming videos so that is all that i have for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys learned something new um let me know down below if you've heard some of these new brands that i talked about the la passion one the outlier uh honey love um what else did i find that i never found before that sonia Rakia, i don't know how to pronounce that um and i think that was it I can't think of anything else but I was actually really excited about this haul just because I have not found quality pieces in a while I've been finding sellable pieces but not quality pieces and I feel like um, a handful of these are definitely quality pieces um, and I'm definitely gonna make a decent amount of money on this I wish I could do the math and calculate all this and give you like a wild thumbnail like $100,000 But thank y'all so much for tuning in. And if you made it this far, please leave this one. Uh, because I'm nosy and I want to see you stay to the very end. Uh, but I'll see y'all the next one. Bye. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. This is so cringy.